Hi, I'm Nanogil and I want to be a superhero. And this week, the superpower I'm trying to get is the power of the earth. Ooh. So yesterday, I tried to harness the power of the wind and we used the help of Nano Nanogil to travel sustainably up oh, yeah. and down. Well, today I've got a great idea on how we can build her, and then maybe me, a sustainable vehicle that also uses the power of the wind. And I've been thinking, and I've decided today we're gonna build a nano wind racer. Ta -da! That's right. Oh, hold on. I'll make this more official. Nano wind racer. Da -da 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 -da! Oh yeah. This is really useful. You get the idea. Okay, well, if you think you can make your own mini wind racer too, join me. For this experiment, you are going to need to capture the power of the wind, and the best way to do that is with a sail. Just like with our windmill, sails trap the wind. We can use the force of the wind to push against them to move things. So let's get started. You're going to need a square of card, nine centimeters by nine centimeters. A piece of stiff card, mine is about five centimeters square. A piece of paper, seven centimeters wide by 10 centimeters tall. Two rectangular strips of paper, about three centimeters wide and eight centimeters long. A wooden skewer. A small piece of plasticine or blue tack. Scissors, sticky tape, a ruler, a pencil, and something small and round to draw around. I've got a bottle top here. So today we're making a car. We're gonna need to make four wheels. Now for our wheels to turn, they're gonna need axles. And for our axles to turn, we're gonna need to make bearings. We did this yesterday, so let's get those out of the way. First, take your rectangular strips and roll them into narrow straws. And again, you don't want to make them too tight because you want the skewer to be able to rotate in there. That's pretty good. I'm gonna take that shot, and then I'll do that again with the other one. So those are all taped, we're gonna set those aside. Now, the best shape for wheels is, of course, square. <laughs> no? Triangle? I'm just kidding. We all know it's not time to reinvent the wheel. We're gonna make round circular wheels. And the easiest way to do that is to take something small and round, a coin, or I have a bottle top, and you're gonna go to your stiff card and you're gonna draw four circles the same size and cut them out. There we go. Four circles the same size. Now you're gonna to need to push your skewer through the middle of each of these wheels. So let's make a tiny hole now. Again, use some plasticine or blue tack. Put one in the middle there. Take your skewer and poke a hole through the center. So there's one. I'll do that for the other one. Okay, fourth wheel done. Great, we're gonna set those wheels aside and we're gonna build our chassis. Now, we want our chassis, which means the body, to be really light so it doesn't take much energy to move it, but also really strong. In engineering, triangles are one of the strongest shapes that we can make. So we're gonna make our chassis a triangular prism. You'll see what I mean in a second. Take the large square of card and measure it carefully. We want to fold it very accurately into three equal pieces. So mine is nine centimeters long. So I'm gonna divide nine by three, which is three. And so I'm gonna mark along here three centimeters. And there's another three, taking me to six. I'm gonna do that on both sides of the piece of paper. And then I'm gonna make some lines to match those up. Now I want to fold along these lines. And actually, the easiest way to fold nicely against lines is to use something called scoring. Now be very careful because we're gonna be using our scissors here. But what you can do is use the blade of your scissors with your ruler to score the card. That means just make a little scratch on the card. So now we've got our scored line, you can see that you can fold them easily. And so we're gonna fold them both in. And we're gonna take the tape and we're gonna tape those ends together. Okay, so we've got a taped prism shape. Now you're gonna hold the chassis so that the tape join is on the bottom, not the top. I'm gonna tape our two bearings onto this bottom section here and here. 
And you want to put them, well, wherever you want your wheels to go, basically. So I'm going to put them about here. So those can be my front wheels, and then these can be my back wheels here. Okay, there we go. Now we want to make our axles. So to do that, we're going to have to take our wooden skewer and measure it. We need our axles to stick up about one centimeter either side of our chassis. Now, my chassis was three centimeters wide, so we're gonna have three centimeters plus one centimeter either side, that's plus two, meaning that I need my axles to be five centimeters long. So we're gonna measure five centimeters. There's another five, taking me to 10. And the easiest way to cut this is to mark where you need to cut at your five centimeter line, put your scissors on, and then just roll it around a little bit so you score your wooden skewer and then when you feel like you've got enough grip you can snap them with your hands snap perfect there's one perfect okay so now you're going to feed your axles through the bearings on the chassis like so and now carefully put your wheels onto both ends of each axle okay my wheels are on, that looks quite cool. Finally, we're gonna need our mast. Now, the rest of your skewer will do if you have some left. Otherwise, just go outside and find yourself a nice straight twig and that will work just as well. Take your piece of paper and without folding it, hold the ends together like this and then you're going to poke your skewer through both pieces. Okay, using the very tip of the skewer and then you can stretch your mast out, like so. And now you're gonna use the very tip of your scissors to cut a small hole in your chassis, and then you're gonna put the skewer into that hole. Now, you want this to be nice and stable, so you're now gonna take your ball of plasticine, or blue tack, and you're gonna put it into the middle of your chassis so that your skewer can poke into it and stay nice and stable. Here's our mast, here's our sail, our wheels are working, we're gonna be good. Time for the moment of truth. You know what that means. Nano Nano Girl, are you ready for a test? She says she is. Nano Nano Girl, you can sit on the front here like so. How's that feel? Comfortable? Yes, what it might be. Okay. What we're gonna do is we're gonna gently blow and see if this actually goes anywhere. Oh, that looks good. A wind racer is ready to race. Right, Nana Nana Girl, hold on super tight because we are going to crank up the wind and see if you're gonna go fast enough to fight crime. Okay, now we're gonna try it with some more wind with the hairdryer. Let's see how it goes. Ready? Oh, and off she goes! I'm just, oh, oh, that's not very good. Yeah, that, that was too much wind. Just a little bit too much wind. Probably need to work on the stability a little bit. Uh, you're not gonna fight crime when you've fallen off the table. Never mind, doesn't matter. I hope you've all enjoyed making your own wind races. I will see you tomorrow for some more superhero science. And um, hmm. I wonder how much card you would actually need to build me a real life wind racer. I know, I'll go check the recycle bin. And also try and find Nano Nano Girl. See you later. Nano Nano Girl.